Good afternoon everyone. So we're here, we're here with Lukash, Luki. From Together Vegan. Together Vegan on YouTube, check out. Yeah, check out my channel. And we want to bring up a video of uh, pros and cons or positives and negatives of living in Phuket. Yeah, exactly. So let's start with uh, positives. Positives, yeah, there are nice beaches here. Yeah, nice beaches. Clean water. You said beaches or beaches? <laughs> Both. <laughs> nice beaches on the beaches. <laughs> yeah, it's really good air and it's clear water. Yeah, clear water. A lot of fruits. A lot of nice places where to go. A lot of places for the biking. Water is to, to, to clean our beats now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, nice weather, not too much rain. Yeah. It was only one day raining for this one month. Because yeah. it's dry season. Yeah. But during rain season it's raining like every other day. Oh, really? Yeah, you are longer, you can say more. Yeah, yeah. And um, I would say also positives that like um, the sport community, like there's also running uh, races sometimes and if you find people online it's like a sport community uh, so you can like train with other people but um, but they are vegans no often there not many vegans here but that car goes here to Intanyapura so that's good yeah and overall just realize yeah Danny Glass um, all those guys um, what else would you add? Lots of uh, good hills, like if you find the good roads for cycling, uh, quality roads. But let's get to the negatives now. I got it. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of nice roads and hills, but the biggest problem is the traffic here. Yeah. It's a lot of cars because a lot of tourists here. And yeah. They, they, say they like, make the pollution on these roads. Yeah. Like during the high season, like the traffic is the same as in Bangkok here. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So it's hard to avoid, especially if you go bypass road and cycling is not so enjoyable when there is so much traffic. Yeah. I agree, like the traffic here is crazy and you have to be really careful. And yeah, sometimes you like people are driving their cars with bicycles just to go to cycle somewhere. Exactly. And then they make the problem because it's really hard to breathe in this smoke. Yeah. yeah. And then you lose the joy of the biking in this situation. But it's also that, in Chiang Mai, no? Yeah, that you need to always search some smaller roads yeah. and then it's okay, yeah. But mm. sometimes you can avoid these big roads. Yes. Another negative? Another negative? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. For me, it's the biggest negative. The second, maybe. The fruits are a little bit more expensive, yeah, because also it's more tourists here. Yeah. These wealthy tourists from Russia mm. and all the countries, and then the price is going higher, yeah. Yeah. And what about, okay, what about the uh, positives and negatives of Thailand in general? Like, uh, if you, for example, most people want to come to Chiang Mai, so what are, what are the positives of Thailand in general? General, you know, of course, the cheap prices and nice weather all the time. They are the biggest positives for me, yeah. yeah. And a lot of fruits. Yeah. But even then, you have to shop around. Yeah, exactly. It's not like that that you can find this on every corner. You, yeah. you need to have good yeah. spots, good yeah. markets where you can go like, get uh, the good deals. Yeah. Like, for me, like my experience when we first time came to Rotel Four Festival, like we thought that fruit is gonna be everywhere. And it is like uh, not everywhere, but it, it's like around the corners. But sometimes it's like really expensive. For example, near the park where the QA is, like the fruit is like twice as expensive yeah. as if you go to the Moan Mai market. Exactly, yes. So I recommend you to get accommodation near the market or near Doisy Tap so you save time. Yeah, exactly. Because it, this will be your day, daily exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the Doisy Tap and go to get some fruits to eat. Yeah, and people are also not used to like the hot weather. Yeah, of, of course. Yeah, yes. You need to get some time to to use your body for to these temperatures. Yeah. yeah. That in the beginning you get you can get some shock, but yeah, you need to go, you need to give the time to your body, and they will be better and better. And what about um, Thai people? How are they? Do you like Thai people? Or? I like Thai people, they are friendly, but of course it also depends on the places where you are. 
I, we make now the traveling through the Thailand, from the Bangkok to the Malaysia. We was in many different places, mm. and we was in the small cities and the, uh, the big cities and the villages, and we get to know a lot of Thai people. And I, what can I say after this experience? I get the feeling that the small cities, the people are more friendly. It's less yeah. tourists there, and when you came there, they are really friendly for you, and you are something special for them. We yeah. all even was getting the yeah. fruits in the market for free. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Like people like who are like really small business, you know, like family owned, uh, who are not like making big money, are often the ones who like give you things for free and are easier to make friends with and are more like um, <laughs> more like. Um, well, Thai people more like yeah. in the small cities. <laughs> yeah. We can cut this later. <laughs> <laughs> and on other side, in the big cities like uh, places in cities like in Phuket or, or Surat. No, they're, they're more like friendly and um, more real, you know. Uh -huh, and these real. these uh, um, people here are more like fake. The Thai people who are like selling you or no. Yeah, on other side, the big cities, the people. More want to make the money on them. They are not yeah, friendly yeah, anymore. Yeah. The like prices are man. higher, yeah. And they have it. You can, you have, you can get this feeling that they have enough of tourists. Yeah. Here, yeah? And also, like Thai people don't have ma many interests. Like they only like to do a uh, sleep, eat, and fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but basically, the same like in Europe, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the same everywhere, but. It's just like you see, you don't see much um, variety here. Like everybody's doing kind of the same thing, motorbike and... Yeah, yeah. This, this, this new of all of this, a lot of these yeah. cars and motorbikes and they do not get yeah. interest to change, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But another side yeah, also, when you go in the morning for the bike, for example, the time here, mm. you can get, get a lot of Thai people on the also, bikes. Yeah. Okay. I have the thing there's more in the morning, like, mm. yeah. Yeah. biking people like in the evening when we was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, it could be true. Um, so, but, po but, but basically, there I have the feeling in the whole view they are more friendly. Oh, bye bye. Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon, Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> bye bye. bye. Yeah, people from Brazil they also really friendly, yeah. but they do not want to eat our bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, but in general, I, I can say the people are more friendly here, like in Europe. I can mm. speak. Yeah. yeah. There's not that much stress. More, here. more relaxed. Yeah, yeah, they don't. They're not like stressing out so much about yeah. meaningless shit. And as we say, it's depending when it's, the villages there are really, really relaxed. The city is maybe not that much, but still it's not that crazy like in Europe. Yeah, yeah. You can feel it this in every day. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's uh, our thoughts. Uh, post your comments and questions down below and make sure you subscribe to, Happy, to Together Vegan. Yeah, exactly. And give us thumbs up on the video yeah. if you like it. Yeah. See you. See you next video. Yeah.